Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Oh my gosh, okay, let's go. Okay, we definitely have to do the color of this rainbow llama and include the little face. Um, definitely wanna do the little bottom and the bow from Hello Kitty. Gotta add the claws, and then I think definitely the cute little mouth from the seal. So the first step is to take some of these colors and just do like a bunch of little squiggles all over. Then I'm just gonna blur it and draw in the little cutout and add on the unicorn horn. Now I wanna add on Hello Kitty's bow and we have to add on her little pants overalls. Next, I'm gonna add on all of the little crab claws and legs. And lastly, I'm gonna get rid of those eyes so I can add in the adorable walrus face and here's the final result. I love when we get some that are so totally different but I do think this one turned out pretty cute with all the different shades of red, plus the rainbow and his little face. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, some interesting ones. Okay, we definitely have to do this brown part with the little spikes of the hedgehog. I think for the wolf, maybe the ears and the little snout. This, I do not know what this is for the life of me. I could not find it. I thought it was a manatee, I don't know, but I think we definitely take the rainbow tie-dye color from that. And then maybe from the panda, we do the wings, horn, and the stripe. So I'm gonna draw the outline for the hedgehog, and I'm gonna color it in, and add on all the little spikes. Now for that rainbow tie-dye effect, I'm just gonna make a bunch of squiggles under here, and I'm gonna blur it out. Next comes the ears and the little nose from the wolf. Now I need to put on those wings, the black band from the panda, and finally the unicorn horn, and here's the final result. Okay, last minute I did decide to put on the eyes from the panda, and I think it brought it all together. This one is definitely a mix of so many different elements, but turned out really cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, we definitely have to do the eyes and the little hearts from the frog. For the seal, I'm thinking we add maybe the belly and the little snout. Hamburger, you know we have to add all the hamburger parts. And for the oxalotl, we'll do the gills. Since there are so many colors, I am for this one gonna just take colors from each of them and mix them together. So I'm gonna mix all of those together and take the middle one. So we're left with like a muted teal. Now I'm gonna draw on the top for the frog. Now I'm gonna draw on all of the little elements from the cheeseburger. All right, this is looking really good. Now I'm gonna add on the little snout from the seal and the frog's pink hearts. And last, I'm gonna add on the gills from the oxalotl and here's the final result. I love that the little oxalotl gills look almost like wings. The hearts on the eyes are just so cute. And overall, I always love when I get the cheeseburger. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Let's be real, you already know what it is. We're gonna mash these all together. Oh my gosh, okay. All these colors are really pretty, so I think I'm gonna combine them all to get the base tone. And then we definitely need to do the little fins and maybe a shell for the sea turtle, this little flowy hair for the unicorn, the eyes from Hello Kitty, and then the legs from the octopus. So I grabbed all the colors, now let's mix them all together. Ooh, that's pretty. Now I'm gonna draw all the little tentacles on the octopus. Now I'm gonna draw the little flippers and the shell for the turtle. Now let's add on that rainbow unicorn hair and the horn. I'm gonna add a white belly because all of these ones have it. Now we just have to add on those ridiculous glasses. I know it doesn't actually look like this, but what if we down the opacity so we can still see the eyes through it? Last, I'm gonna add on the whiskers and the little mouth, and here's the final result. I did not know if I was gonna like this one because these are some crazy ones up here, but this turned out to be one of my favorite ones of all time. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm thinking we take the ears from the corgi, the hat and the hamburger part from Pom Pom Perrin, um, definitely make the whole thing black like this unicorn and add on some little bones, and then take the mask eye area from the lemur. So first I'm gonna color it in, then I'm going to draw on the little mask and add on the little snout and pink parts around the eyes. It's almost looking like a penguin right now. Now I'm gonna add on the part of the little cheeseburger and add on that cheese. 
Now I need to draw on his adorable little hat. And I need to add the ears for the corgi. Lastly, I just need to add on all of the little bones from the skeleton. And here is the final result. Something about the black little bean body with this little mask is still giving me penguin, but I don't know. Let me know what you think about it and what we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them together. Ooh, all right, let's go. Okay, I'm thinking we do the colors and the stripes from this monster. We have to add on the little quills from the hedgehog, all the other elements from the dragon, and then for this little guy, I think I wanna use the mouth. So I'm gonna start by coloring it in and adding on that little belly. Now I need to add on all of those stripes. I wanna go ahead and also add the ring around the eye. And now start adding on all the little hedgehog quills. Now I'm gonna add on all the little elements from the dragon, like the wings and the ears. And just go ahead and add on that last little horn right there and color it in. And finally, I'm gonna add on this cute little smile here with the big pointy teeth. And here's the final result. I absolutely love this one. All the colors work so well together. And I think the hedgehog's little quills look like sprinkles. So it's giving me dessert vibes, Mariah Elizabeth vibes. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, we're gonna mash them all together. Whoa, okay, let's go. Lots of Sanrio in this one. So we have my old pal Karopi. I think I'm gonna take the mouth from him, the little Sunday from Pom Pomperin. Um, I love all these goldish orange elements from the bat and then the shell from the turtle. Since three of the four are this lime green, I'm gonna change the background of that and add in the mouth and blush from Kiropi. It's already looking a little derpy. Now let's add on the top part for the Sunday and color that in. Cue the Mariah Elizabeth sprinkle song. Now I need to add the belly of the bat as well as those adorable little wings and those ears. I added all these colors in there that I'm hoping if I blur it, it looks a little bit metallic. I wanna add bat things to it. Last, I just had to add on the turtle shell and here is the final result. This is definitely one of the craziest ones, especially with that mouth, but I think it turned out really cute. Let me know what you think we should name it in the comments. Whichever Squishmallows this filter lands on, my husband is gonna match them together. Ooh, look at those, let's go. I like the top and the eyeballs and the color on this one. The little basket bottom on this one. We're gonna take the ears from this one and we gotta take the little rainbow fluffy thing on this one. Okay, first I'm gonna color it. And I'm gonna take this basket, but instead of putting it on, I'm gonna make it like an actual basket, like under it. Ooh, that's ugly. <laughs> I fixed that, and so now I'm gonna draw the strappies. I'm gonna draw the eyelashes from the boba and the snout from the cat. I'm gonna draw the top part from the boba. Now we're adding the rainbow beard from the lion. Now we're gonna add in all the rainbow colors. I blur it out to make it look tie dye. Last, I'm gonna do the cat ears in. And here's the final result. I like that it is very Colorful egg in a basket. <laughs> Let me know if you think we should name this one in the comments. I have made 42 Squishmallow mashups on this channel and every day I get comments asking me to mash together the mashups. So today we're gonna do it. So I have my number generator. Let's generate number three, 38 and 28. Okay, so we have this one, this one and this one. So I think I'm gonna do a tie dye of all of their main colors. Then I'm gonna do the top part of this guy with the antlers, the face and burger from this guy, and then the clownfish elements and the lights from that one. So first I'm just gonna add in colors from each of them. Then I'm gonna blur it all together. First I'm gonna draw on the elements from the cheeseburger. Then I'm gonna add on all the little Christmas lights and the stripes from the clownfish and the little mask from the lemur. Now I'm gonna add on the part from the dinosaur, as well as those antlers. Lastly, I'm gonna add on those fins. And here is the final result. This is definitely the craziest mashup we've ever done on this channel, but I really love this series. Let me know what you think we should name this one in the comments. 